Do you have some new fancy dual color or tri-color filament to play with? Are you wondering which angle is best to rotate your model to before printing? Hmm? Well today, I'm going to teach you how to dial in these dual and tri-color filaments and place the colors wherever you want on the model. Right here, right now, on 3D Print Farm. You know, PLA has come a long way, you know, that rhymes, in the last five years. There's matte, there's silk, there's glitter, there's gradient rainbow, there's special PLA that changes colors depending on the angle that you're looking at it. This new filament, however, is a bit different. Let's go take a closer look. As we can see, this filament is from two distinct colors. They're not mixed together, but one half is one color and the other half is a different color. When they're extruded through a standard hot end, the filament flows much like toothpaste. Printing with this filament provides some really cool effects. Check this out. This is a cool vase from Maker Clock Spring. Yeah, I really like how that... Check that out. Look at the color change. That's from this purple and red filament from Yusu. What's really cool about the dual color filament is the ability to change the colors depending on how your model is oriented on the build plate. Now there's very little way to control this other than sheer guesswork. That is until now. This is the multicolor filament configuration disc or MCF CD. The X and Y axes are raised and each angle marker is incremented by 15 degrees around the disc to help you determine your best angle for your print. Now let's go give this a try. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to Colts3D.com type in MCFCD in the search box to look up the multicolor filament configuration disc or MCFCD or you could just go in the description of this video and I've provided a link for you. This is a brilliant tool. This takes about 30 minutes to print. The instructions are right here. When you drop it on the build plate of your slicer, it drops it smack dab in the middle and it looks like at the three o'clock position this 90 and 180 degree marker on here. Each one of these raised ridges uh, represent 15 degrees. And as you can see by this rotating disc, the two colors, this is a dual color, a green and a blue. And by turning this, you can see the color gradations along the perimeter of these discs. And what this allows you to do is allows you to place a model in your slicer and orient it such a way that the colors will bend to your will or match up however you want. This is a brilliant idea because yeah you could probably just oh, I'm just gonna print a cylinder and I'm gonna look but this takes all the guesswork out because of these little 15 degree tick marks and I will show you exactly what I mean. All right, I have dropped a bust of Miles Morales, AKA Spider-Man, an awesome bust by artist Fotis Mint. I'll place links in the description below to his Patreon. I have placed it on the build plate and this is facing forward. I have looked at my color configuration disc and I wanted this is this is what this is where your creativity comes into play here. You can place your colors wherever you want to. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to specifically cut down this model in half. So right where the eyes meet, I wanted kind of a color gradation of blue to red here. I thought that would be really cool. So what I did is I looked at the color configuration disc. I found out that 75 degrees 
on that disc is the mark that where the colors changed. So all I have to do is click on the rotate tool or you can click on your keyboard as a shortcut. Here's a cool tip. The I want to rotate around the z-axis so if I float my mouse over the blue arrows here you'll notice that there's tick marks around the circle. If I hold my mouse button in, my left mouse button, and I move my mouse up around the outside tick marks, as I move my mouse, it's moving in five degree increments. And then all I really want to do is go up here to 75. Boom. That's it. And you're probably asking yourself, who is the creator of the MCFCD? Well, that would be Abby Brown. She is a high school math teacher and 3D printing hobbyist extraordinaire. I follow her on Twitter. I hear she has an Instagram account as well. She comes up with the coolest, coolest stuff. Check this out. This is a toothbrush holder that she used the configuration disc, the color configuration disc, to line up her colors along the edges of the toothbrush holder and check that out. She has tamed the dual and tri filaments. Once again, Abby, thanks for sharing this with the 3D printing community. First of all, I want to thank Abby Brown for her idea for this configuration disc. I'm going to use this a lot, and I know you guys are too. I want to thank Yusu, the company that provided the purple and red or blue and red dual color filament for the Miles Morales. And then I would like to thank everyone for the blue and green filament. Once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. Try to stay cool out there. It is a hot one. We'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now. What's really cool about the dual fill, dual filter? What's really cool about the dual color filler, filament, dual color filament. What is really cool about, 